It's no secret that if you want to see some of the most amazing art in the world, you can head downtown to the DIA, Detroit Institute of Art, and look at the amazing collection they have. But did you know that art from the DIA may be in a city near you or perhaps in your own downtown? It's all part of the DIA's Partners in Public Art program. And joining us to talk more about it are Charlie Garling, Director of Studio Programs at the DIA, and Ani Gar Garabedian, the Community Arts Coordinator. Good to have you both on. Good to see you. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks for having us. Now, is it Garabedian or Garabedian? Both work. <laughs> okay, that's, that's very kind of you. Uh, <laughs> Charles, this is all about murals, and they are in cities all across Metro Detroit. Tell us about the program. Yeah, so the program started in 2018 as another way for the DIA to help people have meaningful experiences with art. We work with municipalities, organizations, and communities throughout Southeast Michigan to co-create works of highly visible works of public art that reflect the interests and tell the unique stories of each community. Okay, Ani, the latest art installation just wrapped up in uh, Lake Orion. Uh, talk to us about the inspiration behind this particular mural. Yeah, that um, mural is titled Enter the Dragon, and it was painted by myself as well as my partner, Stephanie Sukat Felchek, and it was designed by Nicole McDonald. And as some of you may know, Lake Orion's um, brand is the dragon. They're very well known for the dragon. So after talking to the community and getting feedback from them, we, um, or I should say, Nicole came up with this beautiful design of a close-up of a dragon's face. That is, if I may say so, super cool. We're looking at aerial <laughs> dro drone footage of it right now. Talk about eye-catching. <laughs> uh, how long does it take to plan out and execute a mural on such a large scale? Uh, quite some time. There was a lot of planning involved. Um, we had a lot of meetings with the city, um, a lot of talking with the community. Um, and then once we started painting from start to finish, it was about three months. Stephanie and I worked on it for three months consistently. Do you ever have any worries that uh, some civic busybodies are going to be kind of lurking over your shoulder? Like, well, that's not what we were expecting. <laughs> um, everyone was so gracious and so kind. And honestly, while we, are, we, we were out there, we had so much support from the city, to the community, to the police department. Um, moving that big lift around was no easy feat. So we definitely had the community on board. So well, everyone was wonderful. And speaking of that, you were also one of the lead artists on a mural in Clawson, one of our favorite small towns. Uh, tell us about that one. Uh, I painted that along with uh, Megan Hominick, who is the Clawson High School art teacher. So that was great because we got to involve uh, the high school and some students. And there again, um, the big, big feedback from the community was little city with a big heart, because that is their motto, as well as community. So we painted the farmer's market, fireworks. We included um, original buildings of downtown Clawson, the marquee, even down to uh, the street lights in the city park. So we really tried to make it feel home-like and community. All right, Charlie, why is this public art partnership so important to the DIA? It's important to us because it's another way for us to meaningfully connect with different communities throughout Southeast Michigan. We want people to feel like they've ha they have a good return on their investment in the Tri-County Millage, and this is one of the ways for us to do so. It's also a way for us to get to know different communities. One of the joys of this program for me personally is going out to the different communities, interacting with the residents, interacting with civic leaders, and coming up with a project that helps tell their unique story and express the unique interests of each community. Now, we talked about Lake Orion and Clawson. Uh, are there some other communities that you plan to work with in the future? Definitely. This year, we're looking to re-engage with some of the partners that we had to, that we had to pause with, unfortunately, because of the coronavirus. We're looking at re-engaging with Utica, Berkeley, Rochester, Detroit along the Avenue of Fashion, and Wyandotte. Excellent. Sounds like a winner. Thank you both for talking to us today. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Ta you for having us. Absolutely. Tati, over to you.